Hello, my name is Jonathan Bisnett, and this is the third video in the series on BJT transistor logic gates. And in this uh, video, I'm going to focus on the OR gate. The previous two videos, the first one was the NOT gate, and then the AND gate. And in this one, we're going to look at an OR gate. So that happens to be right down here on this in this corner. And uh, what you'll see is it's another three transistor gate. Uh, the first two transistors, the two on the right hand side, are NPN transistors. And they basically accept the inputs. Uh, the outputs are then combined and actually run through a third transistor, in this case a PNP transistor, which I refer to as an interface transistor or staging resist, uh, transistor or staging transistor. Uh, and its purpose is to simply flip the logic back so that it's positive logic coming out of the circuit, whereas the NPN transistors would create a ground situation as a one, which is not what I'm after. So if we start and look at the the two transistors here on the left, they are two uh, n two 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 transistors, uh, NPN each of them. You'll notice that both of them have their emitter, the pin on the left of each transistor, connected to ground. They have a 10k ohm resistor on each of them, connected from the base, the middle pin, to ground. And then uh, finally, uh, or additionally, they have uh, an output uh, on their collector, which you'll notice the, the first black wire, one collector is connected to the other collector, and then the second collector is connected over to an input transistor, uh, input resistor for the third transistor, and I'll explain that in a minute. So basically, each of these transistors is operating as an individual part of this circuit. Additionally, you'll see on the back here, also off of the base, are two 220-ohm resistors, which go out and then are connected to these yellow wires, which are connected to the positive rail of this board. So basically, both of them are getting a positive voltage on them. And being an OR circuit, you'll notice that the LED is lit. So both of these transistors are being turned on uh, with the positive voltage, and therefore the result is being sent to uh, the third transi transistor in the stage. In this case, it's a ground condition, which is going through a 220 ohm resistor there and into the base of this PNP transistor, in this case a 2N3906. You'll notice its emitter is connected to the positive rail, being a PNP transistor, that would be normal. Uh, the uh, 10K ohm resistor, in this case, is connected between the base and the positive rail. And finally, uh, there's a white wire here connected to the collector, which goes over and connects to the LED which then is connected to ground. So the way this third transistor works, very similar to what we encountered with the AND gate, it inverts the signal, so to speak. It takes the negative or ground output of these two transistors and converts it to a positive output to represent a 1. Uh, the, the 10K ohm resistor on the base uh, causes the, the transistor when there is uh, either a positive signal or a floating signal on the other input on the 220 ohm resistor, it causes the base of that transistor to see a positive uh, voltage condition and therefore be turned off with no output. Once the ground condition from these two transistors, either of them, is applied to the 220 ohm resistor to the base, that no longer sees positive voltage, but rather sees a ground condition, in which case it begins to conduct and turn on the LED. Each of the, the input transistors, as I noted before, operates independently versus the AND gate where they were actually combined together into a linear fashion. Each of these operates individually, and if either of them goes to a ground condition, basically turns on and and 
sets ground potential to the third input transistor, the LED will come on. So if we take a look at this, uh, if I go over here, let's see, best way to do this, switch hands here. If I go over here and take one of these as an example and pull it out, go to ground with it, notice the lights, the LED stays on. If I pull the second one out, we lose the LED. Uh, go back to the first one, let's plug in just that one. You'll notice that the LED comes back on. If we plug in just the other one, the LED comes on. Uh, and if we plug them both in, of course, the LED stays on. So we've got an OR condition here. Uh, if, either, if either or both provides a 1 as an input or a positive voltage, the output will be on. So let's go take a look at the schematic for this. And what you'll see is this schematic is actually very sim similar to the schematic we had in the AND gate situation. The difference is in the emitter portion of the circuit, really. Everything else is almost identical. It's just that both emitters are connected individually to ground instead of the collector of Q3 being collect connected to the emitter of Q2. So you'll see that they are individually operated. They both have a ground-based emitter, and their outputs are both provided or connected to the base input of Q1 through the 220 ohm resistor. So when either J2 or J3 is closed, or both, the individual transistors will see a positive voltage on the base, being NPN, they will begin to conduct and they will expose the base of Q1 to a ground condition through the 220 ohm resistor. That ground condition will then basically turn that transistor on. Q1 will go on and provide positive 5 volts to the anode of the LED and then uh, that'll travel through the 220 ohm resistor back to ground turning on the circuit. So very very similar uh, again the 10k ohm resistors that you see throughout are used to in essence bias the transistor off uh, when the input is floating or in the uh, in a state that would not normally turn the transistor on that that 10k ohm resistor allows the base to see whatever condition or potential would cause that transistor to be off. So those are used to put the transistor in an off mode. And that's really all I have to say about the circuit. You'll see the uh, truth table at the bottom and you'll note it's basically the truth table for an OR gate. Well it is the truth table for an OR gate. It's on if either input is on or both inputs are on. Uh, so that's our OR gate. Uh, I hope you'll uh, watch the other videos and see the other gates I've built and see how they work together. Thank you much.